Welcome to my first ever Facebook Live series. Monica Dina Huppert of Whole Heart Energy Healing here. This is day five of 20 days to 2020. Real solutions for your resolutions, where you can gain some great tips on how to get a new year, a new decade, and a new you off to a great new start. Today is Monday, December 16th, day five. Yesterday, I asked you to embrace change, to, to boost your life and what you need to succeed, because when you settle or compromise, your self-worth can take a dive. Hi, Joanne. Thanks for joining. Today, however, I want to ask you if you've ever had one of those times when your brain keeps worrying and worrying and worrying and seemingly just won't shut up. It agonizingly goes over scenarios that happened that day, that week, that month, that decade, <laughs> that need some resolutions and you haven't figured them out yet. Yeah. I've had those times too. Albert Einstein is known for saying, we can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. Meaning, however we got in the situation, a different approach is necessary to get out. Thinking outside the box, and yeah, I know it sounds like an overused cliche, Yet thinking outside of the box is often necessary and an extremely effective way to come up with new ideas and fix the situations that mental mumble jumbo and any problems we're facing ourselves. So on day five of 20 days to 2020, I'm gonna share a few tips to help quiet the confusion and soothe the voices in your head. Tip number one. Write it down, baby. Believe it or not, <laughs> there's a reason for those voices being there. Their job is to protect you from getting into even more trouble. Kind of like what Jiminy Cricket from Pinocchio sings. And always let your conscience be your guide. Like a kid or a cat that won't leave you alone until their needs or demands are met. The act of writing allows that nagging to go away. The act of doing something about the problem, be it inspired action, creating a plan of action, or thinking outside of the box kind of action, will quiet that voice forever. And the best part, when you write it down, oh, excuse me, you don't have to try to remember all those things. Those voices are bugging you about because they're simply right in front of you. You've got them written down. No more effort to push them away. Hooray! So, write them down. Sorry, I'm, I am reading and it is a little halted. I apologize. Tip two, get real and let them go. I'm talking about writing off what's just not gonna happen. You know which ones they are. Often they're the very ones that you keep putting off for so many times you've lost count. But for whatever your good reasons, you kept them on, on the hopefully I'll get it done list. You may have to release responsibilities, items in your car, your desk, your home. You may have to resolve that some situations, relationships, or events won't ever be solved and that's okay sometimes some things just don't need to be done yet they sure make excellent fodder for heaping more extra stuff on your plate at least it is true for me make a list check it twice yep just like Santa and after you've made your list cross off the things that you do not need to do today, this week, sometime in the future unknown, 
This will give your voices a reason to subdue as those jobs and issues are no longer on your plate. And that feels good. And finally, tip number three, analyze and possibly expand your resources. Sometimes the voices get louder because of the chronic state of stress you're experiencing. You're tired and really need several good nights of sleep. You're exhausted, physically exhausted. There's too much on your plate. The problems or situations are seemingly or in reality getting bigger. Loved ones need help or support. You want to be in many places, but there's only one of you. And those voices just get louder and louder and louder and just for fun you get to think up all sorts of little insignificant details that suddenly loom in importance and have to get done right now right now you simply need some help and unfortunately you're poorly resourced at this time sometimes all you need is some time or someone else to give you some balance and some sanity. Have a nap, meditate, watch an inspiring show, call up a friend and vent. No blame or guilting yourself or another, just share how you're feeling. Sharing your feelings help to dissipate them. You have the ability to change the thoughts, ideas, attitudes, and beliefs that you hold within so that the voices, no, I'm going to say that again, sorry. You have the ability to change the thoughts, ideas, attitudes, and beliefs that you hold with the voices into something more powerful. And there's always the help of healers and coaches. Tell me your favorite tip to improve what's going on in your world. I'd love to add your great ideas to my list. Thanks. Monica Dina Hubbards of Whole Heart Energy Healing, and this has been day five of 20 Days to 2020, Real Solutions to Your Resolutions. Tips on how you can get a new year, a new decade, and a new you off to a great new start. Cheers to your success. I'll have those tips written up on a tip sheet on my website later on tonight or by tomorrow for sure. I know I don't I don't have it done. Sorry. Bye for now. Take care. Thanks Joanne for showing up.